Even Elon Musk, the tech guru, appears to have his doubts. After three long years of tirelessly working on the nonprofit organization OpenAI, Musk was ready to throw in the towel. But why? Was it the pressure? The lack of progress? Or did he simply get bored? Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we have a fascinating story to share with you about the world of artificial intelligence, personal ambition, and the ever-changing tech landscape. We'll be diving deep into the captivating saga of OpenAI, Elon Musk, and Sam Altman. How did a groundbreaking AI research organization that some of the most important figures in tech co-founded end up dividing these visionaries? So without any further ado, let's get started. You know it's quite a story. About three years ago, Elon Musk was on the verge of leaving OpenAI, the amazing AI research organization he co-founded. Launched in 2015, it had some pretty big names supporting it, like Reid Hoffman, and they all chipped in a whopping $1 billion. It was so impressive that it even lured some of the best minds in the industry away from huge IT companies and universities. But then, in early 2018, Elon had a chat with Sam Altman, another AI co-founder. Elon felt that OpenAI just couldn't keep up with Google. He had this idea, though. He wanted to step in as CEO of OpenAI to try and turn things around. Unfortunately, Sam and the other founders didn't think it was the right move, so they turned him down. Can you understand, guys? Elon Musk was turned down. So Elon didn't take it well. He eventually left the company. This whole disagreement, which reached its peak when he resigned on February 20th, 2018, really shook up the industry and open AI. It also created some tension between Elon and Sam, both of whom are big names in the tech scene. You know, back in 2018, no one would have guessed that both Elon Musk and Sam Altman, two big names in Silicon Valley would end up playing such critical roles in this whole story. At the time, Elon had his plate full with Tesla's Model 3 production falling behind and investors were getting restless. Inside OpenAI, there was some resistance to Elon taking over as CEO, including from co-founder and CTO Greg Brockman. It seems like a bit of a power struggle unfolded. That's when Sam stepped up having led the impressive startup accelerator Y Combinator. In 2018, he became OpenAI's president as well as the director, according to tax records. Eventually, Elon left OpenAI's board, and both he and the company cited a conflict of interest as the reason. You see, OpenAI and Tesla were both vying for the top AI engineers, especially since Tesla was working on its own AI for self-driving cars. That rivalry wasn't just for show. OpenAI actually lost one of its brightest minds, Andrzej Karpathy, to Tesla. However, not many people at OpenAI believed the conflict of interest story. In fact, a speech Elon gave at OpenAI's offices before his departure didn't set well with most employees. Insiders say that Elon hasn't kept giving money to OpenAI, despite what an OpenAI statement said. He initially committed to donating around $1 billion over a few years. He'd already given $100 million, but apparently stopped making payments after leaving. This put OpenAI in a tough spot, as training AI models on supercomputers can be incredibly expensive. So that fall, people at OpenAI started realizing just how expensive it would be to develop cutting-edge AI. Google Brain's Transformer had really pushed the boundaries of artificial intelligence, but it needed tons of data to train the system, which was costly. OpenAI's decision to focus on these Transformer models was a bold one. OpenAI announced on March 11, 2019, that it would be turning into a for-profit organization. This was done so they could pay for all the computer time needed for such advanced AI models. They couldn't find a legal structure that met both their original mission and their need to make money. OpenAI decided to limit the amount of money investors could get back and give the rest to the charity they started out to help. Interestingly, Sam Altman, according to insiders, chose not to invest in this new for-profit company. He already made successful investments in other tech companies, so he really didn't need the money. He felt that turning OpenAI into a business was necessary to achieve its mission, but he wanted to ensure that making a profit wasn't the main goal. By not taking any ownership stake, he could stay true to the original vision. However, this decision made some potential OpenAI backers a bit uneasy, as they thought Altman might not see any value in the venture. 
Then, less than six months later, Microsoft invested $1 billion in OpenAI. This brought not just funds, but also infrastructure expertise. They worked together to make a supercomputer that could train a lot of models. This led to ChatGPT and the DAL-E image generator. The latest language model, GPT-4, has a mind-boggling 1 trillion parameters. When ChatGPT launched in November, OpenAI suddenly became the hottest new tech company, leaving Google scrambling to catch up. People in the know said that Elon was not happy about this at all. In December, a month after ChatGPT's debut, Elon ended OpenAI's access to Twitter's firehose of data. The agreement had been made before Elon bought Twitter. Later, he wrote on Twitter that OpenAI, which he had originally planned to be open source and non-profit, had turned into a closed source, profit-focused company that Microsoft effectively ran. On March 15th, Elon questioned the legality of how this $100 million donation to a nonprofit had turned into a $30 billion market cap for a for profit company. Elon tweeted an Elmo meme to express his concern about AI being in the hands of a single company. Finally, the information reported that OpenAI board member Shivan Zillis, who had twins with Elon, had resigned. You know, the fact that OpenAI is now a for-profit company isn't really the main issue between Elon and the organization. It seems like the real problem is that OpenAI has managed to overshadow Google and Elon isn't a part of this tech sensation. Considering how much he contributed to getting OpenAI started, it must be tough for him to have walked away. Now, Elon's planning on building his own AI company, but he has a lot of catching up to do, not to mention juggling the high costs of Twitter, Tesla, and Space. SpaceX. It's common for founding members to have disputes over money and credit for their creations, but it seems like Elon, who's been the world's richest person a few times, might be more driven by the desire for praise and control than by genuine concerns about AI's future. He might think that nobody else can achieve what he envisions. As for Sam Altman, it's not about the money for him either. The fact that he doesn't own any stakes in OpenAI really highlights the unique nature of both the company and the AI industry as a whole. Becoming OpenAI's CEO is really a personal victory for him. Sam has been pretty open about his journey on Twitter. He mentioned last month how his first startup was a failure and it wasn't a great experience. But now he's doing really well with his second shot. He shared that no one cares about your failures as much as you do, and as long as you don't get in your own way, you can always try again. That's some advice he wishes he'd had before his first attempt. Even though Sam won't make a profit from OpenAI, he'll always be remembered as an innovator in the field. So, as the story of OpenAI, Elon, and Sam unfolds, it leaves us with a thought-provoking question. In an age when artificial intelligence is revolutionizing industries and changing our world, can pioneers like Elon Musk and Sam Altman put aside their own goals to make sure that AI helps all of humanity? The answer to that question might just shape the future of technology and society itself. What do you think, guys? Please let us know your precious opinion in the comments section below. Stay tuned with us for more exciting, informative videos like this one. Thanks for watching!